Talk about one expensive cab ride. A man out nearly four grand after taking a ride. He's now speaking out to warn others. Midnight September 7th, Harish Agarwal and his friend who live in Niagara Falls were tired. Just left a concert at Budweiser stage. So they went to catch a cab to get to their hotel downtown. The second we got out there, we got approached by uh, what looked like a taxi driver who essentially said, hey, where are you guys going? It looked like a completely legitimate cab. The driver said his meter was broke, so they agreed on a flat rate. His friend first used his card to pay, but the machine said connection error. Agarwal then gives the driver his BMO credit card, enters the pin, again, connection error. I said, you know what, we're just, we're just going to get out, we'll call an Uber. Right. No, 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 try, try another card, try your debit card, maybe debits will work. Okay, so I give him my TD debit card. Again, he, he has his machine, he puts my card in, I put my pin in, connection error. The two then give him whatever cash they had on them, ending the ride early. A very short time later, I get a text on my phone. From TD saying suspicious withdrawal of a thousand dollars from your bank account. A short while later, I get an email from BMO saying you've exceeded your cash advance limit, which is very confusing to me. I never take cash advances when you go to an ATM, and they essentially are telling me your cards were swapped, and you are not in possession of your own cards right now. Agarwal, the latest victim in an ongoing scam, fake hey, cabs using fake there, credit card hey. machines. This fake taxi driver swapped my cards almost instantaneously with ones that looked the exact same and his machine captured my pin it's a completely fake machine all it was meant to do was take my pin and say connection error similar cases have been reported to police for years my 3500 the next guy's thousand the next guy's 2000 how much is enough collectively for the police to say you know what this is a serious problem and we need to do something about it Police are investigating this case and have made arrests for similar cab scams in the past. Agarwal received a refund from TD. BMO denied a refund at first. They're making me jump through more, more hurdles here. But after City News reached out to the bank, he was refunded for the full amount. Agarwal is now speaking out to warn others. For one thing, if someone is approaching you for a ride, that may not be the best start. Also, okay, never on. hand over your car. Just ask to tap it. Ask to actually take their machine and put it into your hand. A lesson Agarwal had to learn the hard way. $3,500 cab ride to get us not even 10 minutes away. Pat Taney, City News.